Alright, um, this is what I was talking about before with the vent spots um, that I make in my containers. What I do for these thinner lids um, is heat up a, in this case, a pot rivet and simply melt a hole th through the lid. Um, does make a little bit of a mess, but uh, easily cleaned up. Um, yeah, that's about a three to four millimetre hole. And then take a couple of um, small pieces of the um, micropore tape, if I can find the end of it. There we go. Let's carefully snip some off. There we go. Like I said before, um, simply just put one and then I'll go across it the other way just to be safe. Um, and that can be autoclaved or pressure cooked um, and doesn't come off. Um, don't know how long it lasts for. I've reused lids like this dozens of times um, and it doesn't seem to come off. So, um, yeah, it's a fairly um, permanent sort of a thing. Yeah, and that's basically it. Like I said, uh, when I go to um, get my plants to um, grow roots in this media, I'll put a lid on with a vent spot in it. it just allows um, gas exchange from inside the container. Um, it is beneficial to the plants as they grow. Um, and also with the vent spot in it, a vent hole, um, it allows a little bit of the moisture inside the container to escape, making it a little bit less humid inside the container so it's... The plants are slightly easier to harden off once you remove them from the tissue culture and um, place them into um, potty mix or whatever you're going to plant them out into. Yeah, cheap and uh, simple. Alright, um, I just showed you how I make my vent spots or what to use for a vent spot, but this is um, just a quick look at the commercial type. They are fairly delicate this type, um, if you scratch that too hard you would put a hole in it and tear it um, and yeah, it's US, no good. Um, it would allow contamination into your container so um, I no longer buy these, um, they're just too expensive for the amount I use. If you're only going to use you know, 20 or so it's not too bad but when you're looking into the hundreds it um, can add up quite quickly at about 80, 80 cents is what the cheapest I can find them for. Um, up to yeah a couple of bucks for some of the dearer versions um, but this works quite well so that's what I'm sticking with I, I haven't had any contamination um, dramas using these and I've been using um, the micropore tape for quite some time now um, and like I said with um, yeah no contamination so I'll stick with them from now on